Hi everyone and welcome to the second part of our masterclass. Today we are going to be talking about the immune system. So the immune system is a hot topic right now with um, COVID-19 and people worrying about how they can support their immune system and boost it. Um, and within the wellness industry, a lot of brands have, been, have seen an increase um, and a very good monetary increase in terms of uh, consumers buying products that help to support the immune system. So we know that the immune system is a complex series um, or system of cells and proteins that help to fight off infection, um, bacteria, viruses and pathogens that the body may come into contact with. Um, and it's very not, it's not very complicated um, <laughs> as to what we can do to support the immune system. So if we think about nourishing the body so that we keep the cells functioning at their optimum best so that when they come into contact with these viruses, pathogens, bacteria, etc., they are well primed and strong enough to be able to fight them off, then what do we do? So we're looking at um, having a herbal support, so getting things like echinacea, eucalyptus tea, nettle leaf tea, peppermint tea, um, I like lavender as well, it's, it's kind of relaxing, but I, I think it helps to keep the stress levels down. So we're looking at getting herbal support to boost the immune system, things like astragalus as well is really good. Um, increasing probiotics and prebiotics to support the gut health. A lot of the immune system resides within the gut. I think it's 60 to 70 percent of the immune system resides within the gut. So we're looking at things um, such as chickpeas, kidney beans, onions, garlic, artichokes, um, kefir, tempeh, sauerkraut, olives, um, water kefir, gin kombucha, um, regular kombucha, from yogurt, living yogurt. So anything that's fermented um, that has live bacteria in there, we want to be eating as much of it as possible that our body can tolerate. Um, we're also going to look at, again, dark green leafy vegetables, lots of fruits and veg, um, whole grain carbs, healthy meats, lots of fish. Uh, I would add in things like uh, seaweed as well for the different types of minerals that they provide to the body. And again, you'll find a common theme in whether it's supporting the immune system or supporting the mood or um, looking at weight loss, it is really just the same thing. It's just eating properly um, and reducing stress. You know, stress brings up cortisol that impacts the immune system. We find that if you're really stressed, we tend to get sick, not a surprise. So keeping stress levels down, again, a correlation with mood states. Um, sleeping is super important. So we want to make sure that we're resting a lot. Um, guidelines are around seven to eight hours i find that i need way more than that i don't feel rested until like i have like nine or ten that's because my lifestyle is like is really really hectic um and so if you find that you need more than the seven to nine hours or seven to eight rather that are recommended then have that have as much as your body needs you are the boss of you you know what you need to feel good to feel healthy to feel balanced and like a human being so you do that for yourself sometimes the guidelines don't apply there's never one size fit all approach so we talked about pre prebiotics and probiotics, um, eating, you know, organic, healthy, fresh foods. You can do things like adding um, raw ginger to your diet. So I have, not ginger, garlic, sorry. So I have some garlic here that I'm going to have tonight. Um, and what I do is I get my daughter to peel them because she loves to peel them. And I chop these up really small and then I just drink them with water. And that helps with like fighting a lot of um, bacteria that's inside the body. You can also do things like um, liver cleanses with the um, liver packs and you can do uh, colonics, so coffee animals, which I will teach you guys how to do in another masterclass. Um, having things like, you know, the ginger, the turmeric, etc. So we're going to do two things in this workshop to support the immune system. So the first thing that we're going to do is something that I am excited to do because you guys know I like to make things. So we're going to make an immune boosting self. So what you will need is some organic beeswax, okay, and a pot that you don't mind getting it into. So I'm just going to move my camera a little so you guys can see the magic that's happening here. So you want to take your pot and put it onto low heat so that it doesn't burn. And then you can use any carrier oil that you like, 
Okay, so I'm going to go to my trusty almond, sweet almond oil, and I'm going to pour in about half a cup's worth, okay? And I'm going to let that gently heat. So I'm going to put my stove very, very low so that I'm not burning the oil. Into that, I'm going to add some coconut oil. So all the ingredients that we're adding here are antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, and they all have properties which support the immune system, okay? So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of coconut oil in. Another thing that you can do is coconut oil pulling, which is really good for the um, lymphatic system, cleansing the lymphatic system, which helps to clear toxins from the body. Um, and again, that's going to support the immune system because it's reducing the amount of toxins and pathogens that it has to get in contact with. So half a cup of um, these of almond oil, um, two tablespoons of coconut oil. Okay, so this is our immune boosting salve. And then I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of my beeswax. I don't want to add a lot because the beeswax tends to get very hard and you want to be able to sort of just scoop this. I'm just going to put this so you guys can see what's happening in my pot. Okay, right, I'm going to get a different spoon. So I keep that bag clean. So sweet almond, coconut, and then I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of my beeswax. I'm going to keep the heat low. All right. Should I put another one in? I'm more like an intuitive recipe maker. I don't like to follow recipes. Once I do something a couple of times, I just, I take it away on my own beat. So we have the beeswax there and I'm just keeping it. Again, you don't want to um, keep the heat too high. You want this to melt gently, okay? So I don't know if you guys can see. Yes, you can see inside the pot there and what that looks like, okay? So I'm just going to gently blend that down. And what you're going to do is a little process. So I talk about self-care quite a lot. And we're going to look at incorporating, incorporating this immune boosting salve into our self-care regimen. Right. So that has melted down beautifully. I'm going to take the heat off. Okay. And I'm going to add in my blend of immune boosting essential oil. So I spoke about essential oils being antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, um, and how potent they are in helping the body to fight off infection. Now, if you find that you're coming down with a cold or a flu, um, this helps to reduce the uh, length of your sickness. And it also helps with asthma, opening up the um, bronchioles, um, the bronchi, helping the lungs to be able to, to take in more oxygen faster. But I always say the first thing, People always say, oh, no, you can't do that. Get some onions, <laughs> chop them up, place them under your feet, on top of your feet, and wrap it saran wrap. Have some chopped up by the side of the bed and let the onions suck up all the toxins that um, are in the air and in your system. And that works absolute magic for me, but people think I'm nuts, but it works. So let's say you don't want to do onions, okay? We're going to do the immune boosting cells. So you've got your beeswax, you've got your um, almond oil and your coconut oil. And now we're going to add a selection of different essential oils. So we have here turmeric, okay? <clears throat> now this is not recommended for children under 12, um, but I use this one, Vivi, because she's been using essential oils forever. But I think they have to use that as a disclaimer so they don't get sued. So I'm gonna add in 12 drops. Okay, let me be patient, that's five. Six. Again, you can make sure your oils are organic because this is going directly into the skin. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. And your oils don't have to be super expensive. You can find a reputable brand. They don't need to be top of the line. Unless, of course, you want to spend money on get top of the line essential oils, which is fine. But, you, but don't get too cheap, okay, because this is going into your skin. So you don't want to get oils that are like $1.99 each. That's like, mm -mm. but you want to not overdo it. 
Then you got some tea tree oil, which I love because this just fights infections beautifully. But I'm almost to the end of my bottle here. So I'm going to open it. And I'm going to pour what I have left in here. So I'm going to pour... Right, that's a good 20 plus drops <laughs> of poured in there of my tea tree. Now, if this smell, if you don't like the smell of an essential oil, then don't use it, okay? This needs to energetically resonate with you. Clove, frankincense, um, eucalyptus, and cinnamon are really, really strong oils that are used in immune boosting cells. So you can use those four, but I have loads that I want to use in my oils. So I want to make a really strong immune boosting salve um, so that my body is well prepped to fight infection okay now this is rosemary oil here this is doTERRA so you guys probably know this blend which is quite good quite, quite a good brand a bit expensive but kind of good and then my sweet orange or you can use bitter orange oil I'm going to add Now that smells quite nice and I think I had a couple of more I wanted to add in my lavender there as well okay if you have cinnamon you could add cinnamon in there I find it quite strong So relaxing here that like ping into the pot and <laughs> make these all day. All right, so that's it. So I've added my my oils. I'm gonna get them a nice mix in here. I'm not gonna rub this over my skin because the beeswax does tend to um get quite thick. Pop that in there, and then you get a nice container, okay? Clear, clean container, and then you go to a glass as well, not plastic, and you're going to pour your salve into the container okay put that there so i have that there full container of my immune boosting salve i'm not really keen on the smell yet i'm gonna add i'm gonna go to my favorite rosewood because i do want to feel like i'm coming to Put something good onto me that smells nice as well so i'm just gonna add some rosewood in here okay <clears throat> it's a bit strong but it did the trick okay so i'm gonna leave this uncovered and i'm gonna go to the second part of the video to show well not the second part of the video the second part of the steps of what we're going to do so this is going to get um it's going to cool down and thicken up, okay? And it's going to go into a solid form. Now, you've done your immune boosting salve, okay? How do you use it? So first, what you want to do is you want to have your dry brush. Now, the dry brush will help to stimulate the lymphatic system, which helps to flush all the toxins. It gets the blood going, and it helps to flush all the toxins and all the waste out of the body. So. There are different techniques with how you use the lymphatic brush. I just say do what feels good because techniques can tend to get a little bit too much and we get lost in, you know, following or doing things the right way rather than listening to what our bodies need. So when I have the brush, like I take it and I rub my skin, I'll do it on my hands. And that feels good. I go in circles. I'm just going to show you guys the color difference. So let's do this hand. So you see my skin is like that. I'm going to show you, copy of notes, how my skin turns. Come on, I'm just rubbing all the oil, all the dead skin cells, everything off. And my hand is starting to feel nice and hot now. And you can see it looks a little bit drier. Well, I hope you can see it looks a little bit drier. <laughs> And some people say you rub towards the heart, you go in strokes, you go up and down, you add circles. I say do whatever feels good and scrub you and rub until your skin is warm. And sometimes it's like having like a good itch, like that just feels like, <laughs> it feels so nice. So you rub yourself 
five, ten minutes before you get in the shower, have a cool shower, hydrotherapy, it's shown to boost the immune system. So you rub, 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 get the blood flowing, get the toxins being flushed out there. All right, and this is also apparently good for getting cellulite reduction done. And I'm fine, you know, I'm getting cellulite on my legs, and I'm like, that is not <laughs> cool at all. Like, I am not supposed to have cellulite. So I keep this brush in my bathroom, and I use it not as much as I should, truth be told, but it's there. And you have your cold shower, and then you rub the immune boosting salve on. So now you've stimulated the immune system. Now you nourish it with the oils. So. If your skin is sensitive to oils, etc., I wouldn't recommend going to put that on straight onto your skin. Um, start with your feet. Now, I did a challenge and I gave the ladies um, a foot massage to do nightly. And the foot, the feet, um, different parts of the feet reflexology are linked to different parts of the organs, etc. So it's just a nice thing to do. You just feel so super relaxed. So wrap yourself in a robe after you've come out of the shower so you've done your dry brushing you've done your cold shower um you wrap yourself in a robe and then you sit down and you just rub the immune boosting salve under your feet and you just rub your feet you massage them and sometimes you'll find that you might have little you know crystal packs under your feet like it feels like little rough um salty stones like that's the texture it feels like and you want to rub those through and that's an indication that um something is not flowing properly in the body so that's another conversation but we'll do that. So, my darlings, so now we've done the immune boosting salve, I'm going to show you guys how to make an immune boosting tea. But I'm just gonna find another container to put the rest of this one in, because I made a lot. So, but I love making, you know, I just, it's my self-care thing. You can put me in the kitchen all day with a pot of oils, and I'm in heaven, in absolute heaven. Right, so that's the rest of my, I don't know if you guys are seeing, but it's already starting to, look, look at that. See, it's already starting to thick. Isn't that so cool? It's already starting to get thicker. <laughs> yes, I love it. It's so cool. So that will thicken up and get, look at that. It's already starting to set. That's just magic. See? I just love it. <laughs> okay, so that's the salve there. Now we're going to do a tea. So I had some water boiling okay whilst we're doing the preparation for let's just move the camera a little bit All right i had the water boiling whilst we were doing the salve and i'm going to show you guys how to make a really nice tea that you could incorporate into your regime every day so now we're boosting we're in cold and flu season what can we do to stay healthy um, aside from food, let's have teas because I drink a lot. In fact, I've got a cup of tea here. Shall we do a cheers? Cheers to good health. I drink a lot of tea. Okay. So here are the ingredients that we're going to use. And we are going to rough chop everything. I've rinsed everything out. I'm just going to rinse my hands. And we're going to put this in the tea, and this is the tea that we're going to have every morning, okay? Or evening. And this again, it's antiviral, antibacterial, um, full of vitamins and nutrients that support the body. So we have here ginger root. Pure, whole, organic ginger root, okay? So you're going to break it. Make sure there's no mold, because sometimes there's... um. You'll find some like light pieces of, of mold on there, like fuzzy white pieces. You want to make sure that there's no mold. I'm going to just peel these quickly. And you want to have as much ginger as you can stomach, okay? Ginger is quite spicy. I've been putting it in my smoothie, so I have like a, um, a frozen berry, so like a frozen berry, mixed berry and i put one banana i put a huge chunk of ginger some raw turmeric and what else i put in there i do a little cheat so i put like there's this really nice mango pineapple and passion fruit juice like a smoothie um i put that as a base and i blend everything together and it is absolutely divine like even my daughter vivi um sometimes with the concoctions that i make she just doesn't have it she just doesn't like it and this one she knocked it back she finished it no problem and i was like yes Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna put 
This particular ginger root is a bit finicky. Usually you get the nice big chunks that are quite easy to peel. Ginger is also really good for fat loss as well and increasing the metabolism. So as much ginger as you can stomach, how to stomach problems as well, we're going to add to our tea, okay? Now I feel like somebody's going to ask me, how much ginger do you need for 500 ml of water? I say with this, go for what tastes nice because if you don't, if you have too much ginger and you're not going to drink a lot of it, then there's no point. You want to nourish the body with this immune boosting tea. So make the recipe with these ingredients in the way that you like it, my darling. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more. I've got like one, two, three, four chunks in there. If this wasn't so hard to peel, I'd probably add a little bit more. Okay. And okay, let's add one more. One more for magic. Okay, nice big chunk here. So your water needs to be filtered water. Try not to use tap, try not to use bottle. So if you can get a whole house filter or maybe an under the sink filter, please do that. Now they're finding so many things, so many contaminants in tap water. So if you're drinking tap water, please don't. All right, so that's my ginger in there. Then I'm going to add, this is a fruit called bergamot. Now bergamot oil uh, has mood boosting properties and it's also an anti something. I think it's an antiviral or antibacterial. It's one of the antis. Um, and it's, it's beautiful smelling i found it in waitress and i was so excited like i love to go into supermarkets and like health food stores and like discover different fruits and veg so i found the bigger mud oil um and i'm going to cut this it's a member of the citrus family it's quite sour and um mm. really sour but tastes nice <clears throat> it's really sour. I'm gonna definitely taste the oils in that. So I'm gonna put whew, except one thick chunk of bergamot in there. Now I am not cooking my tea. As you can see, my flame. This is high. I'll keep my flame very low because I don't want to kill the nutrients in my tea. Sorry, so I'm keeping that very low. And then I'm going to add some turmeric. Now the turmeric is best absorbed with some black pepper, but I'm not putting any black pepper in mine. Instead, what we're going to do is add some coconut oil, which also helps to um, absorb the turmeric. So I'm going to put in three pieces of turmeric root. Again, you want to use the root. If you can find, if you can find the powder, an organic powder, that's fine. But I find that with the powder depending on how it was produced you know if they put it if they dry the turmeric blend it and then package it quickly good but if they don't then you know the nutrient content is greatly compromised because it's 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 becoming oxygenating they put in it's it's open to the elements and so it compromises the quality of the turmeric so the turmeric is in there the ginger is in there now i'm going to put a lime you can add lemon, but I'm going to add a lime because I just have a thing for lime these days and I also have no lemons. I thought I ordered them, but I didn't. So I'm going to peel my lime. Now I don't have a fancy way to do this. I'm not putting the skin on because I can't remember if this is a an unwaxed lime, but I got these from Weight Rose and they say unwaxed, but when you look at the skin, the skin is, it's not, it's not unwaxed. The skin is quite, um, looks kind of waxy to me. So I'm not going to put that in my tea. The bergamot didn't look waxed, so that's why it's that's why it's in there. So I peel my lime. And I'm gonna put my lime slices in there. No fancy way of doing this. Because why get fancy and waste time, right? Who has time to be in the kitchen all day? Not me. So I'm just gonna put that in there like like that. All right, let me just wash my hands. So, in my pot, we have 
the tea. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. And you're just gonna let that sit five, 10 more minutes. Then you take it off and let it infuse. And I let that tea infuse um, until it's quite strong. Sometimes I might leave it overnight. Um, and then gently, re very gently reheat. So you're not boiling because you do not want to feel the nutrients in any of these. Some people add apple cider vinegar. I find that's too strong. Um, and then your raw honey. So your raw honey, I found a really good brand on Amazon. This is a Polish brand. Okay, it's divine. It's bomb. Bomb.com. Look at I just use loads of it. It's just thick, creamy, <coughs> delicious. It's just a delicious honey. I love it. Um, I'm sure some of us um have great Greek honey. Feel free to share. <laughs> but I love this honey. So you add about um a teaspoon to, of to, to, you can have a, a slightly sweet is fine. The honey has a lot of health properties to that. Um, and then you drink that every morning if you give it to the children amazing you could even make this into like um like i'd make it into a juice but it's winter time so you want them to have something warm okay so that's the tea i'm going to show you guys now our immune boosting salve so as you can see it's turned hard i'm just gonna take my finger and swipe there look see and you can oh, so this is i love this stuff guys I, I can like stay in the kitchen and like make stuff a little bit too much all day. Right, I'm gonna just put that on my skin. The skin that I, that's so nice and warm to go on. And look at that. Just made a beautiful immune boosting salve. It doesn't smell too bad either. Not, not a strong smell, but even when I'm rubbing it in like that, it's feeling nice. It's, my hand is warming up beautifully. And I feel good in knowing that I've put something on my skin that's going to support my immune system. So with all the craziness that's going on out there, and, you know, for those of us who, who might feel slightly panicked with Corona, this is something that we can do to sort of support the immune system. I love it. Okay. Right. So salve is done. Tea is going to boil um, for a while. I'm not going to take mine off as yet. We don't need to see the finished product because you guys know what tea is like. And I just want to recap again with the immune immune system. So a couple more things that we can do. Um, we can add a, a product called Camu Camu. It's a, it's a type of fruit that is extremely high in vitamin C. Um, I have it in the cupboard. I'm not going to come off screen, a screen again. But... I could usually stomach most things, but camu camu is very, it's very strong for me. So I've had it once and I was like, oh, can't have it. Um, but I'm going to, I probably had too much. Like I always tend to overdo in the beginning. So I'll probably go back and just have a little bit of it in some water. So vitamin C is better absorbed with zinc or um, MSM, which is a type of sulfur. So I, I um, put my vitamin C powder in water with some MSM or some zinc. And I drink that, I knock it back and it's very tart. But when I feel like my body is becoming um, run down, I add that. And it's also really good for helping with inflammation. So if you're exercising a lot, then adding the vitamin C is great for helping the body to heal from exercise um, and also to deal with stress. Um, and I have vitamin C, like the B vitamins are water soluble. So I have them um, until my body says it's too much. And with the vitamin B, you just weigh it out. Vitamin C, you start to get very loose, watery stools. But there's also something called the vitamin C detox. Um, and I gave that to uh, as part of the regimen in the um, health challenge. And, uh, you know, you take that, it helps to flush the liver and flush all the toxins out of the body. And again, when the toxic load on the body is reduced, then the body is, again, think about the cells being the fighters for the body. They're, they're better supported to be nourished. They've got less toxins inside to deal with. And so the pathogens that they're dealing with externally, they're stronger, they're better able to support that. So I do the vitamin C detox where um, you start with like 600 milligrams of vitamin C to 1000 milligrams of vitamin C. And you take that every hour until you start to go to the bathroom. And it's like a very strong, it's a bit graphic, but a very strong, powerful watery poo. And everything just comes out the other end and you just feel... 
so nice and amazing and I've had clients that I've trained that have done this and especially those who have like really stressful jobs and they've done it and they feel absolutely amazing after so I wanted to encourage you guys to do your immune boosting tea I'm going to take this off now do your immune boosting tea do your lymphatic brushing do hydrotherapy so cold showers if you can get out into an outdoor pool um, I know Hampton Court open air pool um, is brilliant and it's very cold <laughs> Uh, and that helps to stimulate the immune system as well. Cut back on stress. Really emphasize self-care. Um, eat nourishing foods. So I would like to challenge you guys to add different foods to your diet. So go to the green grocers, go to the Indian shops or the Polish shops, the Romanian or the, um, what was another one I saw? Um, what was the other one I saw? It gives it an L. No, Bulgarian. Um, Chinese Chinese food, there's one called, what is this one called? I was watching it on Ainsley, Harriet and Len. Um, they've got a good cooking show and they went to a Korean or they went to a Korean restaurant and there's this long fruit that helps to clean the body out and boost the immune system. Anyways, what the point is, go to different, try different cuisines, try different foods from different cultures. Um, England is great. I love it um but no country could ever have all the food that you need right so bring in different cuisine expand your palate get different types of bacteria into your system that are going to help to support gut health and gut health is going to support immunity so try different foods i also recommend cutting back on dairy okay dairy is mucus producing it's not it's not great for the body um for a number of reasons uh, uh, you know in, in essence dairy milk is full of hormones um to help support the calf growing into a cow um and you know more than tripling its weight not, not even tripling like hundred thousand times in its weight in a few months to grow from a calf to a cow and with the dairy industry like you know we are pumping so much crap into the milk so we just basically in short do not need to be having dairy um the only dairy i have is cheese once in a while um butter and greek yogurt when my stomach can handle it like i'm sensitive to that um so reduce your dairy reduce your sugar massively the sugar that i have now is honey like raw organic unprocessed honey um and just love on yourself love yourself feel good laugh you know do what you need to do to excavate the feelings of shit and depression and anxiety and funk and feel good now irrespective of whatever is going on and finally move sweat exercise if you can get like there's some infrared saunas that you can get in your home like you can it's like a you know those play tents that the kids have it's like a play tent like that but it's you can stick your head in and you go into the sauna and you sweat and sweating helps the body to flush toxins out so these are all things that we can do to support the immune system. I'd also recommend homeopathy as well. I'll show you guys. So this is my homeopathy jar. And a lot of people don't believe in homeopathy. And my partner didn't until he has really bad hay fever. And he didn't uh, think that a pill could work. And they're little tiny pills that are full of um, the compositions or const constituents of whatever it is you're trying to heal that's way too many but i'm going to take it anyway i've got a little bit of a gum issue going on so i got these these are what they look like those little pills they're like little sugar pills i'm going to put them and then my tongue and i just let them dissolve and vivian loves these like <laughs> they're so good eye infections coughs colds flus i've got one remedy here for colds and flus and viruses and they just work it's all the way on the bottom of the back but they just work brilliantly so you can use um homeopathy to support the immune system or you can also contact a herbalist um but with with, with herbs you can just research that yourself nettle peppermint eucalyptus echinacea astragalus um great um and then you want to do things to support the immune system in terms of adaptogenic herbs so ashwagandha rhodiola um tulsi things like that are really good as well so i'm going to stop because i know we've um gone on and i you know when i do webinars i don't want to like overdo it and like keep talking forever but the main point today was to do the immune boosting tea with your lemon your turmeric you're going to add your coconut oil in your honey 
and your lime or lemon and bergamot slices and then your immune boosting salve which i feel so chuffed about okay and you know reduce your stress sleep eat well feel good that is it i hope you guys have enjoyed this second part of the master class any questions please do always let me know and post your recipes post your teas um let me know if you've enjoyed or if you've come up with any different combinations um and thank you so much for listening i will talk with you guys soon